Hey guys, it's Pandora Will here, and uh, today I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to use Blend Swap. Blend Swap, if you enter it in Google, should be the first one that appears on top, and it is a, a, a site where you can share your blend files with other users. Um, you can see up here at the top, it's logged into Pandora Will. You do have to make an account, which is kind of annoying. However, it's totally worth it. Um, the, the account is free. You just have to do the whole username, password, and email. And then you get access to all these blend files. With the basic free account, which I have, you get 100 megabytes of downloads per week. Um, you can see that I've already used one megabyte, and now I only have 99 remaining. Um, if you were to upgrade your account, uh, you would have to pay. However, you're not limited to your download um, downloads like you are with the free account. Now with BlendSwap, it's a really simple site to use. Um, once you've created an account, you can go to Browse, and it brings up this list of different um, topics to browse under. You can browse under um, weapon files, textures, um, animals, all kinds of different things, landscapes. You can see what um, staff have picked, their favorite files. All of those are really nice quality looking files. Um, what I like to do though is browse by license. Um, there's three different license um, types of files that they have. I usually try to stick to license CC0 and that's because if you were to click on one that's CC0 see it says it's right here CC0 I'm um, gonna click download it'll tell you um, what the the Creative Commons means. So this one, because it's zero, you can use it commercially. Um, and you don't have to give credit to the, the creator or author of the file. Um, but of course, Blend Swap staff recommends that you do. Um, but yeah, so it's a free file that you can use commercially and make money off of on YouTube. Um, you can also do that with the other ones. However, like this CCBY, you can see that um, if you click download that you can use it commercially but you must give credit to the author of the file so it's it's not that big of a deal if you're making a YouTube video you just have to give credit to this guy and like your description so it's not a big deal um, however it's much easier just to use the CC0 and then the last one the CC um, BYSA I believe it is um, yep, SA. You have to give credit to the user. And then if you were to um, interpret the file however you want, like, let's see, he's got his basic layout. Now, if you were to open this file up in Blender and you were to make changes to it and you wanted to re upload it, you'd have to upload it with the same license. You wouldn't be able to upload it as CC0 and make it free to everybody. It has to. Um, remain the same license so it's more of a hassle to use um, that's why I stick to zero of course with CC0 the type of files may be um, not as high quality as the ones under other licenses um, but you can see a lot of them are still really cool looking um, a lot of time and effort in them a lot of details so it's not not that big of a deal also you can browse by like the most popular, the most download, downloaded, the most favorited. So you can download all kinds of cool stuff um, based off of the different categories that they're in. Now let's say we want to download a file to use. So I'm just going to go to CC0 um, and pick a file. I'll pick this cool looking helicopter plane thing. Um, so I'll click download. You can see it tells us the size of the file, one megabyte. Um, so as far as my uh, 100 megabyte weekly allowance, um, it's not that big of a deal, it's only one. So I'll click yes download. Um, it'll start automatically downloading. Once it's done, you click on it. Um, and you can see that it's a file type is a blend file. So you can um, just open it up. Blender will open automatically. 
um, and we'll be at um, the file. It's kind of annoying sometimes because the file will open up under um, the last user's preferences. Um, so you can see that the this over here may be different than you normally have it. Um, in this case it only looks like it's stretched out from normal otherwise it's not too different. Um, so that's pretty cool but sometimes you'll have people using um, weird windows it'll be something that you may not be used to um, so you may have to mess around with it but this one was um, pretty normal I'm just trying to show you um, that it could look kind of weird um, yeah they could be doing all kinds of weird stuff that you don't normally do um, so yeah but it was pretty easy we just opened up our file like it was our business <laughs> and um, so now we can edit it however we want. Um, we could add textures to it as we can see that this one's not textured at all. Um, we could animate it and make it look like it's flying through some kind of scene that we've already made. We could download um, a landscape from BlendSwap and then add this to that la landscape and make a short little clip. Um, so basically BlendSwap allows you to use other people's ideas that they've already started and then make them your own and fine tune them um, into really cool creations. So if you're using Blender I highly recommend that you get on BlendSwap um, and start interacting. It's a really cool um, little community. Um, you can see for example people are commenting on other people's works. You can upload your own upload your own blend files so other people can use them. Um, so it's really it's a really awesome thing. Um, one of my recent montages I used only the 44 caliber handgun in uh, Battlefield 3 and I was able to go on blend swap and then under weapons I searched until I found a 44 caliber handgun and there's actually a um, surprisingly a lot of them. I think I may have used this one. And so then I inserted it into my own blender or whatever. I edited it, animated it, and then I used it in my, my credits of my video. Um, the one I used was CCBY, like this one. So in my description of my video, I gave credit to the author. Actually, it was this one. I remember John95 is the guy that I gave credit to. Um, so yeah, I was able to make a really cool customized credit scene by using somebody else's blend file that they made. So like I've said 20 times now probably, I recommend it. I think it's awesome and have fun learning how to use BlendSwap. Um, this has been a quick tutorial on how to use BlendSwap for, on Blender. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions regarding Blender or BlendSwap, just send me a message or leave me a comment. Um, I'm usually pretty speedy with responses. Um, other than that, thanks for watching.